Howdy everyone, it's me once again, and the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by reviewing Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure. So yeah, this is the second season of an animated series that they've been doing for quite a while. It can be considered as a sequel to the animated film they made a while back. So, I guess in that regard, I do have to review it. And I did review the first season already, so here it goes, I suppose. As always, I do have to talk about the plot of this, so let's just get into it, shall we? So here we go. So yeah, this princess is not exactly ready to take the responsibilities of a princess in this kingdom just yet. So she does realize that there is so much more that she needs to learn about both herself and the world around her just before she takes the responsibility of surrounded of being with world of a princess. So yeah, does that in, in hand there's of course an adventure in each episode so to speak. Characters from the first season and characters from the movie do return of course with brand new adventures. Rapunzel and her crew do follow the black rocks outside of this place they live in. Uh, going with Rapunzel on her journey is her partner in life, Eugene, of course. And, of course, the best friend, obviously, the horse, and the, law, and the loyal sidekick, the little lizard from the film, of course. So we get to see that they have to go on this grand, big adventure and discover new things, obviously. So, let's just say they do have a lot of fun along the way. Obviously, like you might expect, since this is a Disney-related thing, obviously there's going to be a truck ton of music along the way. A lot of singing, of course, but then again, like I said, this is a Disney-related thing. So, obviously, there's going to be a, a ton, and I do mean a truck ton, of music of going on in here. So, I'm not complaining too much about that, because it is expected to be in here, but... The music doesn't come off too distracting because it does go along with what's going on here. And the film did have a lot of singing to begin with, so it doesn't come off too much of a stress that the series itself would have a truck time of singing as well. So overall, it does go along with it. It's at least a thousand times better than a lot of the Disney Channel programming I've seen over the years. And do mean they made a lot of bad TV shows. Come on, Disney, you're a lot better than this. Ugh. I don't know what happened with them over the years, but they made tons of really awful shows. So thankfully, this is definitely one of the better programs that they have made. So that's definitely a step up there. Pretty much the concept here of Season 2 does center around Rapunzel pretty much adventuring outside of the kingdom in search of where the magical black rocks had led after discovering that she's somehow connected to them. So, there are some sort of interesting backstory they want to have discovered here, so that's definitely a good thing there, of course, folks. I did like how that this is trying to stay away from the typical Disney stuff, but actually having the princesses character actually go out on an adventure on her own. Of course, Rapunzel's friends and Regine character would often come by, of course, but that doesn't necessarily stop her tr from trying to do things in her way. So, that's definitely the thing. They're really trying to give her a more of a character as a princess in a lot of ways, and that's definitely a good thing. And I do appreciate the film and the series trying to do that, of course, so it gets points for that. The main character and her friends do have to go on this journey, of course, and they are also aided by this mysterious sword drilling individual who hails from the Dark Kingdom, from where there's the father character and the mysterious mythical rock spike things that originate from of course 
So, it was that. It gets pretty crazy along the way. And they must solve what, what they have to do to get the end goal of here. So overall, folks, I can say that this was actually a pretty good show as a whole. The animation is really good. I did like the designs of the characters, even though it's hand-drawn pretty much. It has the look of it anyway. So, uh, yeah, it's not done in CGI like the film was, but it does seem kind of rather odd for some for some people to go in his art, art direction because, like I said, the animated movie was done in CGI, whereas in the TV series it does have like a hand-drawn look to it. So, I don't know, maybe it's because of the budget or something. Maybe they want to go on a different artistic view for it, I guess. I have no idea. Whatever the case is, it does look rather nice. The art style is nice, and the animation is pretty, is pretty fluent, so I can't really complain too much. The music is really nice, the singing is well delivered, the lyrics still go along with what is going on, the lyrics are not poorly written, the dialogue itself was pretty nice, I really like the dialogue here. So, overall, there's not much to complain, really, folks. And, if you have not seen this show as of yet, I would say definitely recommend it. Even the, I would say check out the first season as well. And from what I heard, there's going to be a third season as well. A third season is coming up after this one is done. Like, totally, completely done, of course. So, that's cool, obviously. And, uh, I'm not sure if they really should make a third season. Maybe the I won't mind it, really. Because eventually they might make a 4th or 5th season, which I'm pretty sure that they might. Mm. But anyway, that's a good show, folks. And I would definitely say that I didn't mind watching it. Yeah, I'm reviewing an animated show that's about a princess. So that might seem rather weird to some folks. But I really don't care. It's my channel and I do what I want with it. So there's that. And I wanted to use this as an excuse to basically talk about something that's animated. So why so why not? I figured it would, it would make perfect sense since Disney Studios are known for making animated stuff anyway to begin with. So why not review a TV show? And that's the thing, I don't review TV shows that often. I, I tend to avoid them. Because there's a lot of TV shows I tend not to like. So yeah, when it comes... It doesn't matter what the show is. Or what studio produced it, I tend to avoid TV shows like The Plague. Because I've seen a lot of bad shows. I do mean a lot of bad shows. So this is definitely one of the better programs I've seen over the years. So I, I, I guess that's a good thing, I suppose. So there's that. So would I, would I actually review any other TV shows after this? Maybe if I feel like it, that is. If I feel like it. <laughs> anyway, I do recommend this. I suggest getting this on DVD or Blu-ray once it comes out. Because it's a pretty good show. It's not that bad, really. It's it's pretty solid. It's it's a good. The characters are likable. I do like all the characters, obviously. And I can say that there's a great sense of adventure. It's Disney, after all. So, of course. Anywho... I would say that this film is definitely worth your time. It will get an overall rating of a 7.2 out of 10. It gets a 7.2 out of 10 for me. And of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Till next time. Oh yeah. See ya.